All right, guys, welcome back. I'm in my pickup and I'm headed to Ola, uh, Idaho, which is, uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with Idaho, it's kind of near like Emmett and Hor uh, Horseshoe Bend, Cascade area. Um, where this is at, it's actually pretty, kind of close to Smith's Ferry where this recovery is. Uh, but we have a telehandler that fell off the road, another telehandler uh, fell off the road, um, weighs about 30,000 pounds and it went down a pretty steep hill. Uh, it's really snowy um, for the pictures I saw. Um, he hit some ice and went off and then tried to actually drive out because um, it's still drivable. Um, and got stuck. So he's stuck in some snow. Uh, so we sat down this morning trying to figure out the best way to do this. Um, and we decided to go with the rotator. Um, we thought about Sarge, but because the road is just solid ice, Sarge doesn't do like super great with those big old fat tires and we don't have chains for it um plus it just doesn't weigh it as much uh, so this anchor ability is not as as good um, so we're going to take the rotator we have we can spade into the ground and then i've got actually 700 pounds uh, of sand in the back of my pickup so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to sand where it's real icy um, and uh, that way he has some more traction and when we get there we're gonna um, try to get it up the road right where it went down at and we'll just go straight up it goes kind of slope it slopes quite a bit but it'll be a lot of weight we'll definitely be two partying and we'll definitely be anchoring it as much as we can and uh, trying to tie off and get as much anchor ability as possible so it's going to be a little hairy um, and and the road isn't like super great it's wider than that last telehandler job that we did um, but the last telehandler job we did had no snow this one has lots of snow and ice so it's going to be a little hairy that's why i'm going ahead first and then there are there is a, some spots that uh, we can turn around, but it's gonna be difficult to turn around when we're done with this, but then we'll drive the, the telehandler out. So uh, that's what we're doing. We'll be there in a little bit. So this is where it's pretty icy, where I'm gonna put sand down. And uh, Taylor Handler's down there. You can see right here is where he slid off the road. Right here is where he went down. It had to have been a rough ride going down that. Since I'm waiting on uh, on Michael to get here, I'll just walk down there and show you guys. This is my first time seeing this also, but oof, steep. So yeah, he just went right off the road right here. And then he had been told that there was another road this direction, which there is, but it's really hard to get to. So he, when he went down, he thought he'll just try and drive through here, which man, that had to have been rough going through this tree and stuff. So he drove all the way through here. See his tracks. And it's pretty deep snow here for this area anyway. And there's the tiller handler. Oh. That's when he decided he's not gonna go anymore. And there was no way he was gonna get to that other road. So here it is, big old dude. Still runs and drives and everything, so the, the owner or the customer is going to drive it out once we get it out. But we'll just go right up this road right here. Just right there in front of where my pickup is. So it shouldn't be too difficult. It's just whether or not we are gonna be able to anchor, which we will, because we'll figure out a way to be able to. We'll get all our calculations and all our numbers and know exactly how 
heavy we need to be to anchor and we'll winch it right up here back on the road and then he can drive it so I'm gonna get my bags of sand out and start sanding all this because this is actually really slick really slick ice so I'll get to sanding Michael's here. He decided to bring uh, truck 15 or heavy because it's uh, tight, uh, not as long that we can turn easier. Because um, I went up there and there's, it's a horrible turnaround. It's narrow all the way through here. The rotator would have been miserable to try and turn. Um, the owner was here just a little bit ago and he got that thing started up so it's warming up. And then he went down the road to grab another one of his employees, I guess. So we'll start rigging and uh, anchor this thing that was my sanding job i saw it i was like oh unless you get close i see sand <laughs> pretty dang good huh that's better than the trucks do <laughs> i sanded the crap out of it that's harder work than you think though oh my gosh i said i said we need to go get you tested for his for slopeness oh you were just talking to him yeah, that's I'm funny like, like, are you kidding me what do you say it's steep. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's definitely steeper than he said. For sure. There's a slope. Yeah, a little bit. And then, um, and then I, he was here just a little bit ago and then he took off. But I, I figured, I mean, if, if this is what you think, we'll just keep the wheels turning this way and just bring it up frontwards and he can just steer it. And have it in gear. And have it in gear and just creep it. Help. Yeah, just to help it some so that we don't slide as as much. That's what I told yeah, him. So there's not bad. It's this last It's the last bit. Yep, it's steep right there at the last bit. So that if we can job. just get out of the way enough, we should be able to get him right back to the road and then he can drive it out. Especially now that I got the whole road sanded. Yeah, I'm gonna pull ahead. I'm gonna back up and kinda into this stuff. Okay. I'll help you. I got our two Terry chains. We're gonna go through these eyelets here in the front. Well, that should give us a pretty good veer angle to pull it us, pull it straight up frontwards. winch Whew. 
That's good. Okay, you're hooked. All right. Got that leg down, that leg down with the grousers down, and we're anchored to the other side, and we're ready to pull. I guess I'm the steerer. Yes, so. Guy never showed up again, so. All right. We'll go down there and steer it up as you winch. Cool. Good? Yep. and the e-brake and Michael's gonna two-part it. We knew when we got to, it, to about this point where we're gonna need to two-part it just in case something went wrong, we didn't overload our line. So he's gonna run some line out and then two-part it and then we'll continue winching.
Can we let off the brake? Can we let off the brake? Okay. Okay, I'm off. Give him the gas. Okay. Okay. Ready? Right, want to take break off? Okay. You got it, it's on you. Come on, baby. There you go, baby. Woo! It's floating. Not sure I know how to do that. Oh, there. Okay. Just give it a little bit of gas. Just barely see it's rolling. He's on. He's on there if you I'm in the tree now, but Yeah, at least your tires are on, so we'll uh Yeah, get unhooked and get out of your way. Okay. She's out. Thanks for watching everyone. Like and subscribe and God bless.